long RV. <laughs> You've done a great job of backing it up so far. For Emily and Hudson Kreider, this RV is the result of a dream that started when they were dating in college. We were studying and I got a little sidetracked and I started talking about traveling around the world because of a report that I had to do. And then Emily said... I was like, there's so many beautiful things to see in the U.S. Like, if we can someday, let's buy an RV and see all 50 states. It was a dream that didn't die. A month from now, we'll be in Florida. And it got an extra push when Hudson's dad, who supported the road trip idea and even took Hudson RV shopping, passed away last year unexpectedly from a heart attack. My dad passed away, just kind of um, brought it all home again, realizing that you know, you don't always know how long you're going to live and might as well do it now while we can. I like how it turned out. So the Criters saved up money. They've quit their jobs and are now fixing up the RV. They've planned the trip month by month, but not day by day. We want to try to make sure that we're enjoying the trip while we're there instead of kind of planning or stressing about being to the next moment. So we want to be present at whatever state we're in and enjoying that time. The adventure of a lifetime, once just a daydream. So excited. Is now almost here. I hope that we look back and are able to talk about all the things that we learned and the people that we met along the way. Jerry Gish, News 8. Now the Criders will head out at the beginning of January, then head south. They haven't decided if they'll drive or fly to Alaska, but they know it will be a flight to Hawaii to get to all 50 states. They have also planned and saved for any trouble that may pop up, but they say the worst case scenario, if the RV breaks down, they can get jobs in that area <laughs> and figure out what to do next. Go now while you can. Yeah. I think it's great. <laughs>